and a lot of up and coming players here. Their bottom duo hilariously named Chelly and Jelly, which is even funnier when you realize that both of those words are pronounced exactly the same in Korean. So it's basically just a giant troll to the Korean casters because they can't actually differentiate between the players. Next level Korean trolls. And in English, it's still hilarious. So <laughs> a lot of value coming from Chelly and Jelly. <laughs> yes, Chelly and Jelly. Now, Tusa just going to waltz into the mid lane right here. Force Kyle out with a spider. Especially pushed back a little bit, but he has his safety keg. I wish I had a safety keg. Yeah, safety Top blankets are often a thing. Safety kegs is something different. <laughs> Sounds like a college student's best friend, the safety keg. I wish I had those in college, Baba. Definitely the tonic for a good Friday night, a safety keg. You know, your party's still going, and uh, you run out of beer. Well, that's why you have the safety keg. Yeah. You keep it to the side, out of vision, so no one can see it. <laughs> yeah, you have to break it out only in case of emergencies. So there's safety kegs and there's hidden kegs. <laughs> this is just for another day when you're just like, okay, this keg needs to last me to Thursday, so I'm going to hide in a bush. Yeah, the surprise keg. Surprise keg. <laughs> the surprise kegs are nice, though. You know, you put them there for your friends and uh, make sure that they've always, they, they have, you know, a little bit of a Christmas present. I feel like it's a grown-up version of the Easter Bunny. <laughs> the surprise kegs. <laughs> I would love you go to. on a keg I hunt. Would, I would love to have a keg hunt sometime with you, Papa Smithy. Let's do it. We could go keg hunting on the weekend. You know, <laughs> there's some great beers in our area. <laughs> Gotta hide them though. That's true. In the brushes, but they can't make it work. Yeah, Cube's the only one that has an initiation ultimate, and of course, didn't have it set up. Speaking of being set up, there's the one of those. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> on that objective, and Frozen already set up here to possibly teleport in. They haven't cleared out that brush, though, so standing in a ward at the moment. Sloppy play from Longju. Uncharacteristic of their first 22 minutes. Yeah, there we go. Finally figured it out there. For a second there, they were standing in the ward, and I thought it was Disco Lights gangplank, just chilling out. <laughs> disco plank. Well, I mean, Disco Nunu's been in this talk because of uh, all the NA pros playing solo queue, and you see the uh, Nunu locked in with the, uh, I believe it's Clairvoyance Clarity. Yeah. And you get a sweeper and uh, you dance. Yep. Dance in the uh, disco lights <laughs> of the sweeper. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> it's really funny. Also, the troll champions change meta to meta, Monte Cristo. Not much Nunu these days. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. <laughs> there he is. There is Frozen as Echo. Got himself a nice little Echo sword. Is it a bat? I don't really know. I'm a really big fan of the new skin. I don't think it's available in 515, but he has a cricket bat in the new skin, which, you know. What's it called? Terrible Sport Echo? Excuse me. <laughs> We've talked about cricket on this broadcast before, Monte Cristo. I don't like talking I'm about sorry, cricket I'm anymore. Sorry. It wasn't soccer, you're right, it was cricket. You I know. just made all the Europeans mad. <laughs> wow. Equal opportunity <laughs> discrimination from the American here about our beloved sports. What do you got against polo? You got something against polo as well? No, I played polo in college. Yeah, you would play polo. <laughs> you named yourself Monte Cristo. Of course you play polo. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I don't talk about the cricket anymore. We <laughs> lost the ashes to England, so it's a bit of a no-no topic in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, I'm sorry for it's, you. It's not good. I'm sorry for your loss. Put it in the not good column as commentators. <laughs> I guess. It's uh, it's our Korean commentators, actually. They look like very confused animals. <laughs> I wonder if come world's time, people try teleport Cassidy in this spot against a champion like Victor. I think Cassidy is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't heavily disagree, but there are other scenes that think he's really good. And with teleport... Uh, he's so vulnerable to pushing, and he's too item dependent right now, in my opinion. I feel like that is an argument that isn't solved or settled right now. I feel like the Chinese teams <laughs> will find a way to make Kassan a viable pick at Worlds. This tradition, Monte Cristo. I disagree said. with you, but we will see. I think they'll play him. <laughs> I just don't think it'll be proved viable. Well, <laughs> they can make an argument for it. It just might be wrong. <laughs> Doing some work on that, but it's still going rather slowly. But with the Callista, there's not going to be really a chance of a steal right here as it gets full. Oh, oh dear. Now that was a mistake. You can you can talk, Monty. So I can, you're not on camera, but Monty was in a daze as he watched the dragon be stolen by a volley. A volley? I mean, Smite was up. Ren was up. Smite was used, actually. 
interesting. The clap. The clap is what is being put forward <laughs> rather than necessarily the, the cheer and the voices. So some Lucian has not been a big champion for Charlie this series. Fell behind in game one. Now in thin the edge into the parts of what, what even is that visual bug? Uh, the parts of a very slow phantom dancer. This Lucian well behind in terms of items. What is this Grob doing? It's really an <laughs> it's really, really angry. <laughs> it's not it's not actually healing up right there. Go back to the Grom. Get him to the Grom. I want to watch the Grom. All right. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Yeah, well, on my screen, the Grom was doing hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to be a waiting game. We'll see if IM wants to go back for another shop before they start to group. One would think they would. The grand waiting game. It's very exciting, isn't it? Definitely is. But I mean, this is more and more of what we see League of Legends becoming these days, having p powerful split push with all of these more carry-oriented top laners has become pretty crucial. I choose to interpret that as a backhanded compliment to Strategic League of Legends rather than your optimistic rotations <laughs> yay kind of comment. I like split famous. pushing. It's hard to do well. You like just everyone pushing for a while, waiting for a mistake? And, you know, there's a counterplay in terms of players collapsing, you have to have the right vision to do it. It pleases me. You say it in a way that sounds interesting, but I know the words that are coming out of your mouth and they're not that interesting. Yes, they are. Sister. No. I like it. <laughs> I just want more Elixir of Ruin to be used. That's what I want. Which one is that? Is that the one that gives the tenacity and the... It gives more damage to turrets. Ah, uh, yes, that one. The split pushing potion. Split pushing potion. I like that one. I think it's underutilized, personally. I know you were a big fan of the AP Elixir and Thorn Mail, but now you don't need that Monte Cristo. You just build more armor and you do sick damage with your Thorn Mail. <laughs> I liked the, the Elixir of Sorcery with the Thorn Mail. I thought it was funny. But now it scales with armor, so you don't need the gimmicky 25 damage every, what, like six seconds or whatever. Hey, if you have nothing else to buy, <laughs> Papa Spin. In the previous meta, without the Thorn Mail damage scaling, I agree it was fun. Speaking of fun, I am finally feel safe enough to start the Baron. Baby, or you just spawn. baby knows what's what do you up. Want from <laughs> Welcome back to the promotional tournament here in Korea. We are looking for our next team to be in Champion Spring. It's like uh, it's a lot like American Idol, where we judge them as they perform in front of us. Isn't that right, Papa Smithy? And both teams have taken their turns failing, so it's a lot like American Idol. <laughs> I judge them both unworthy. <laughs> well, I, I want to see Garen played unironically. I don't count Amazing J on Angie Pacemaker. <laughs> That was terrible, Bob Smithy. It was terrible. I smiled, though. Did you? Well, that now every time they get into champ select, he just hovers Garen and starts to swirl around in the booth, and that's fun. <laughs> he spins to win on his chair. He does. Got to make sure that you don't get tangled up in your headset cord cool. when you do that. Mm. Real serious <laughs> pro player <laughs> problems. That's why he has to go with the USB uh, uh, the, the, wireless the wireless headset. That's risky. What happens if he can't communicate <laughs> when the battery runs out? It's all about the style points, Papa Smithy. Ah. He says, talking about the rotations. <laughs> to death last game. You don't like style points. You don't like flashy plays. Or at least you don't... You're not a big champion. I, I like flashy ceremonies and trash talk. <laughs> that That's is true. Like. It's true. You are a purveyor of the top quality trash talk, <laughs> which you can only find in Korea. <laughs> and the TSM videos were all right, too. They were all right. Dark Wolf's fighting. Dark Wolf's fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had to do it, Monte Cristo. <laughs> and it's not eight minutes into the game or five minutes. I worry for the Ash. Yeah, you should. Sonstar coming in again. There's the flash. Bye, Winter's bite. Ash. Goodbye, Chelly. Rip in pepperonis. All the pepperonis. It's not even worth gold anymore. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> to the Elise. Meanwhile, Sonstar managing to find Jelly. Your ultimate has no power here with true damage. And Jelly going to fall once again. Chelly and Jelly. We're not going to see them in Champions. I know Doe was sad about that. That sounds like a recipe for some excellent references. But <laughs> unless they find their way onto a Champions team. See if Kravavi can actually take this one away. Pulled out of the pit right now for safe. Oh, 
dance It's a walls. stare down. It wasn't even dance It was a stare That was much more serious than I paid a credit <laughs> to. That's how you do it in the Old West, you know. There's no dancing. You just sit there with your hand hovered over the pistol on your hip, waiting for the other man to make a move, Bob Smithy. You can keep playing the game of where is Malphite's head. It's a little bit clearer on this skin. Man, on that regular skin, it is very hard to tell where his head is. I prefer to think the head is like 50% of his body. Ah, that's quite scary. <laughs> and it is scary when you see Malphite. You shouldn't be but laughing see, at his small head. That's why you could theoretically make a Tiki Malphite skin where he's just like a giant Tiki head. It'd be Totemic Malphite to go along with Totemic Malchai. See? Nailed it. Skin ideas with Papa Smithy and Monte Cristo. <laughs> I'm sure someone would buy that. To be fair, I think Scarred Malchai is actually the Tiki one you're thinking of. Totemic was the other release. I don't know. Whatever. Easter Island Malphite needs to be like a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sunstars just chilling with a ward? Yep. He's being sneaky. No, Ish. Sneaky's the one that's dealing with the mid-open and Disco <laughs> Nunu's Monte Cristo. Oh, uh, well, you know what? The sad thing is Korean solo queue probably is still less trolly than an A solo queue. In a different way, right? I was watching highlight clips as Sunstar watched the highlight of a Ash Arrow go straight past him. I was watching highlight clips of, did you see the solo queue game with, uh, what was it? Deft, BDD, Apto. Uh-oh. Well, that's everything <laughs> missing right there. Just 12k at 22 minutes, such an overwhelming advantage. This one looking a lot like game one in this series. Let's go back to one of my favorite games, Monty. How many auto attacks from Ash will it take to kill the Alpha? <laughs> you love this game. <laughs> uh, well, Infinity Edge is done, and there's, well, Sunfire and Frozen Heart. <laughs> Ooh. I'd go with 30. 30 sounds quite likely as expressions on top of the uh, yep, yep. goodbye Azir. Yep, everyone's just a potential kill for some stuff. Party with Cube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The answer was seven. Oh, he auto attacked a minion to mess you up right there. <laughs> Attack move fail. Hey guys, welcome to the Champion Spring Promotion Tournament. I'm Doe with me is Papa Smithy, and this is our last day of League of Legends here in Korea before the 2016 season. This is it. It's crazy. And thank goodness we got Monte Cristo out of the way, man. I that mean, guy. He's, yeah. As we're going to introduce, first of all, I believe it's Eva. Uh, that's actually Spenu. Oh, Sonic Boom! Whoa, there they bad. are. Who would forget Sausage? Come on, Sausage Face. There they are. There is Eva. Ooh, they're actually sponsored by Nene Chicken. All right. Mm, tasty. It is uh, some pretty great chicken and beer you can have there <laughs> down at Nene Chicken. You know, something in Korea that's very popular, in case you didn't notice already, Bob Smith, I did. is that eating fried chicken and drinking beer at the same time is very, very popular here. They are not mutually exclusive they, activities. That's right. They call it chimek, which is the first half of chicken and the first half of mekju, which is the Korean word for beer. Maybe give me some inspiration so, to some of our fans for activities after the broadcast. Yeah, maybe. Maybe activities for us as well. Azir, the first man, gangplank banned out by Ever. We are still on patch 515. That's right. This will be the last match on patch 515 in Korea. No juggernaut craziness here. Sadly not. No Darius. We'll still see the hovers. People love to hover the Mordecai's or the Darius, the no juggernauts. Scarner. No Garen. One right. day, one day, though, we will see Garen. Hey, maybe. Have a rework 12. Maybe Garen will finally make it in there. I was a party to a Garen game. I wasn't casting it, but of course in the LPL. Amazing J back in the energy oh, pacemaker yeah. days. And he still hovers it now and twirls around in the uh, in his office chair when he's in the booth. See, I like that. You just kind of like shrug and go, oh, China. They play everything over there. They do. Obviously, the slave's going to push up a little bit. Ah, now we have the 1v1. Malphite, even though he's made of rock, apparently has vitals. Yep. Who Every knew? Everyone has vitals, Doa. Corky's one of the slowest champions, even though he has a plane. He's got vitals on those planes, though. Yep. Oh. I mean, that in. makes sense, right? There should be flaws on the plane. Yeah. Flaws on a plane. It's a sequel to a Snakes on a Plane. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> well, Snakes on a Plane is is when that Chinese League team travels somewhere. That's not happening this year, Joe. That's a, nope, that's a, that's a rough, <laughs> rough, rough topic. It's too soon. No reboot. No Snakes on a Plane. Nope. <laughs> snake on a Plane. It's because people were sick of all these uh, snakes on a plane. <laughs> oh, what do you know? That's a hard reference to make. I, I know. Right? Stream. It, is it? Is it, it doesn't seem like it is sometimes. 
Oh, Sassen, there's a kick. Actually, Sassen gets himself back under turret. Ryan takes a lot of damage. Oh, nearly goes down. A big mistake. Both Jungle Ryan and Floor used their smites, but just was true from Flo. He got the pick up. Now you're calling him Flo, too. See? Flo. See? He's got to change his name. Flo is a way cooler ID. It's true. We'll rename him. No, he's Flo. Gotta right. give him Flo. Oh, oh, it's time to push the mid lane. Nuclear is there, but not a lot of wave clear on that main. Flo is trying to help out as well. I almost said Flo, but <laughs> this is going to be a struggle. Good thing we've got a couple months left if, if uh, they qualify to get that right. Just got to get through Struggle Street one more time, though. That's right. Struggle Street was the name of my uh, R&B band in, in the uh, late 90s. What did you play? I played uh, uh, clarinet. Actually. You would play <laughs> clarinet, that's right. Not trombone? No, no, that's... No. That was, uh, that was Bill Clinton's thing in the mid to late 90s. Sure. That's right. I couldn't rock the sunglasses like that. <laughs> Not many good decisions, Doa. This is what unfortunately happens in a lot of games. Pretty much a lot of games. Yeah. Like your solo queue games. My gold five solo queue games. Yeah, it happens in mine too. My silver four solo queue games. Look at that name dropping. I don't know about you, I'm silver four. It's pretty, it's <laughs> like, uh, oh, hey man, it's like a NA master, right? That's that's what I heard. That's, that's what they go. say. You're like though. NA challenger, dude. Oh. Gold, wow. So good. Mechanical skills definitely impressive on the Korea side. Right? It is. That. It is way better even at the lower ranks. That part is actually true. Well, back to farming. Do you like farming? Have you ever been on a farm, Papa Smithy? I have been on a farm. What kind of farm was it? That's a good question. I think it was a wheat farm. You don't remember what kind of farm it was? It was wheat when I was a young kid. Farm. Oh, okay. I used to work on farms when I was a kid. Oh, really? I did. Ginseng farms and dairy farms. I picked strawberries once. That sounds fun. Uh, I toiled for hours in the hot sun. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the gist of what it was. Actually, it was great because I made enough money that summer during school to buy a Super Nintendo. And that is where the love affair began. Oh, yeah. No, actually, way before that. But that was the first console I ever bought myself. That's it was fair. a good time. I feel the age divide comes through when I tell you that the first console I ever bought myself was an Xbox 360. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Something is wrong my here. My parents were very giving people, but I was late on the train of buying my own console. I guess so. That's okay. Nobody's perfect. You make a decent argument for it, though. I agree. <laughs> I agree would. with you agreeing you with would. me. You <laughs> would. Well, it's been quite the dragon dance, but... Uh, so far, not a lot of resolution yet. Nice spear on the police. Spear the police. Spear the police. That's right. <laughs> that was a famous song, I believe. Oh, no, wait. The lyrics are different. How did that go again? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> TML, though. TML. Baiting you into it. <laughs> TML. Whatever that means. Maybe we can ask him later. Absolutely. Yep. So, there is Team Ever fighting for a spot in Champions uh, Spring. And looks like Police is out and Loken is in. We have a substitution, actually. Out with the police, Doa. I guess so. Wow. Loken. And you thought that's a that's fun a name. Wait till you see who's coming to support. It's your old neighbor. Oh, boy. My old neighbor? Yes. What do you mean? My old neighbor, I, I'm waiting to see his name. It is Totoro. Oh, <laughs> no, you didn't do that to me. I did. Oh. TML, Doa. It's our neighbor, Totoro. There he is. <laughs> He's not that far He's away He's lost us. a few pounds since I saw him in that movie. <laughs> That's impressive. Wow. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Engage coming in from a lot of teams. It's tough. Wow. And that's... Uh, that's how uh, these guys would look if they were on that uh, that one cartoon with like Hank Hill. I can't remember the name of it for some for some I, reason right I now. You're thinking of uh, King of the Hill. King of the Hill, right? It's in the character's name, isn't it? Yeah. So there's the team drawn as King of the Hill characters. I almost said King of Queens, but that's a different. Comic. That is not even a cartoon. Nope. New Age Cogmore build coming through from Logan. I've been seeing a lot of this in scrims and recently we've seen Bilgewater Cutlass and uh, in general the uh, Blade the Ruin King first. Uh, gives you that life steal, makes that laning phase much more reliable, but you lose out on the one item power spike. So comparing, say, a Sheen first to a Bilgewater first, your trade damage with the with the Sheen is crazy, and with the Bilgewater you're going for a much more defensive choice, but arguably more reliable. Yeah. 
That's interesting to see. I mean, as, as AD carries have to be more self-sufficient in a world where there's so much engage. Well, in a world where your support loves to pack up and roam most oh, of the time, it's Thresh. That's you true know, too. One yeah. of the prototypical roaming supports. So having that extra life steal, and, you know, theoretically, the uh, the slow on the active might get them away and just allow their support. Unleash the Totoro, because that's what the team wants to do. <laughs> Unleash the Totoro. Unleash the Totoro. That's right. He is not your friend anymore. He's still your neighbor, though. He's going to be the neighbor that comes over and, like, kills you if he gets mad. Like, your dog barks too much. He's like, neighbor Totoro's coming to get you. That's right. I know I was talking like a professional wrestler announcer there or something, or a professional wrestler in general. Totoro's coming to get you. <laughs> this Sunday at the Metrodome. Sounds like the Scottish Randy Savage. <laughs> oh, really? Scottish Randy Savage. All right. <laughs> My lesser known characters. It sounds like a sitcom that uh, I'd love to be in. Oh, Coldplay in a little bit of trouble. Has to burn that flash to escape. You said Coldplay. Coldplay, I did. <laughs> it's crazy play. <laughs> Coldplay's in a little Cold trouble. Play. I think they're doing fine, though, actually. <laughs> yeah, they've been pretty popular since, like, the early 2000s, I think. <laughs> Coldplay, Jungle Ryan, Flo. Oh, it's, it's really tough, dude. It's the last Ocean Le League of Legends dude, broadcast new, of the year. New names are annoying. It certainly did damage. The thing about Spen is they're fro so front-loaded on burst from the Orianna. Their consistent damage cannot compare to the auto attacks from Diana and the Kog'Maw. Now the inhibitor is exposed. They're trying Baron. This Baron is still a bit exposed as well. Spen could try to seal that Saucen coming from the side. Baron low and oh! Saucen! Saucen steals the Baron! Crucial, crucial steal for Spenu. Ever wins a team fight, but they can't take the Baron. That hurts. When his team didn't die, they pick up the only kill. Again, it's only one for O. But ever, they had good target selection. Oh, Totoro, bad place to recall, buddy. Sawson really starting to go off on this victory. 3-0-3 three, three now. He's got money to spend when he goes home. And Malphite, the one-man ultimate, still look good. Yep. Rock solid. Rock solid. Rock solid. I'm moving as fast as I can. <laughs> Spring split. Spin a 3-1. I like to go from midnight. <laughs> yeah, this guy. I, I'm with you. This guy's on the ball. I'm with you there. Yeah, there you he go. Knows. Nice sunglasses. Do you really need to wear them in the studio, though? Can you see? Okay. Is there a yeah, premium I'm looking cool, though? There is for some. <laughs> I didn't wear my sunglasses. Well, because I wear regular glasses, so I can't really wear them over the top. I get the, like, the flip-up ones. Oh, yes. You should have the yep. flip-up ones. Yeah, when I'm 80. I think you could pull off horn-rimmed glasses as well. Horn. No. I don't think so. Okay. First, but uh, you're certainly not picking for lane dominance in this situation, especially compared to whatever is fielding. Whatever. Whatever. Slightly new, whatever. Whatever. My British side coming out a little bit. That's right. People think you've just got an Australian accent, but you've got like a little, you've got like a half British, half Australian accent. I just have one of those weird upbringings where I spent time in American high school, I've got a British father, I've got 22 years of Australia in me, so between all three, I'm just a mongrel of accents. There you go. Pretty cool. I'm just straight up non regional diction. You're Minnesotan. I no, can't do that for Definitely long. not. Sorry. That, was, that was pretty <laughs> embarrassing. Hey, man, it's all good. See, well, Italy being proactive, remember we It's not as bad as it is in Australia. <laughs> My accent's not that bad, is it? <laughs> I know it's not. You've told I, me it's not bad. I, I invited it. I don't know if that was your shining moment, though, Dylan. <laughs> I don't. You overthought it. Did I? You did. Oh, well. I'll, I'll practice more. Monty's the true Australian. He's very good at a barbecue. Is he? Yeah. That's true. He is. Easy pick there. Athena tried to come in from behind, but it's too late. Support's already dead. Police taking a lot of damage from Sawson again. Athena comes in on his way out. Whoa, there's a kick. Huge kick. That was a three man Lee Sinault from Flaw. What a great play. That leads into a double kill for Sawson. And crazy play in a lot of trouble as well. Nuclear picks one up. 
Flaw is looking flawless on this Lee Sin, man. 2016 is looking so much better. Right. We're going to see. Check this out. The deletion is just, I mean, that's just Victor to a T. That's what can happen. And so. Well, Salsons look great tonight, as always. Athena was looking for the fight. The exhaust was actually really good from Braum and a changeover. But wait for this Lee Sin kick. So goes in. Boom, flash casual off the W board. flash into two members, two priority members. That was Fiora and their mid lane. Dude, like that was a Q into Safeguard Ward, into Flash, into Dragon's Rage, into two other people. That was that was a fantastic lease in play. That was mechanics, though. It was. That was like that was the insect of insects. Man, Flaw's initiations have been amazing. Yeah, it leads into a Baron for Spenu. <laughs> Whoa, goodbye. Okay. That was the 80 carry this time. Sasan is getting a little bit crazy here. And he hasn't even gone for the highest damage possible. He only has Rylai's Murala Nomicon, but adding in the hex score damage as well. Holy moly. <laughs> Sauce and face? Sauce and face. That's a smiling sauce and face arrow.